I can't shoot straight unless I've had a pint. I listen to different legends, don't I? Flip, check, keep. Here we are. Guess what? You're in the court division here. It's week 10, season 11 of the Nats. There's the matchup that no one was quite expecting at this point here. Yes, you've got Necro Team versus the powerhouse that has been this tackling team, Dwarf Team. Now, as you can see here, the Rockers of the Legends past here. They're finding their way slowly but surely to model their way through here most of the season. As you can see here, they've even come in. They've got an extra secret weapon for the day, which actually might do them a bit of good here. But, no fame. As for the Dwarves, they've got a wee bit of extra fame in here, as you can see. Two reserves. As for the Dwarves, well, he's got one. Which is basically, as the Dwarves would say, it's all he needs. Let's get in here to start it in here. Well, that's boring, isn't it? Of course, Magic Doom. Because Dwarves, well, he doesn't like the weather. He doesn't like getting pissed on, I guess. And that's what we like to see right off the bat. I don't think the Dwarves are very happy about that one. But, you know, frankly, you know, you can see here the coach... That's his opinion, pretty much. Here, <laughs> back <laughs> right at the dwarves. This is what you get for having sucking arm and nine. And the rest of the team, let's get to work, shall we? Of course, many have said, usually when you have a great start like that, it's all going to go straight in the pisser, isn't it? All right, werewolf, get in the work. Rips the face off. Doesn't do anything else though. Oops. Oi, lad. You're not protecting the chainsaw, and you're certainly not getting the ball. <laughs> oh, now you're going to get the ball. Good boy. Can't get the cookie. Ah, uh, it looks like the chainsaw is going to be left hung out to dry here. Well, to the dwarves, it's a free kill. That's pretty much their opinion. Oh, now you're going to screen it. Well, not really. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. I can accept that argument. Okay. Dwarves. Well, what are you going to do about that? You're down a player. That was quick. It's only a line dwarf, but mind you, it was one of the few ones that actually had guard. I might have wanted to put them clustered together. Just saying, lad. What's that? They were clustered together. Now he's all together over here. Yeah, okay. I can accept that argument. It's valid. Well, as you can see here, dwarves extremely aggressive pressure because that's what dwarves do especially at this stage of the game and he's on his week 10 and he's here thinking you know what make life as difficult as possible there's so much stand firm on this bloody team now right how about you sunshine now there's a solid fisting Strength four. Oh, that's going to make that quite the line dwarf, isn't it? Bit more push me, push you. Fat lot of good that did, but don't worry. He's in a good position. Would you like to hit him again? Of course you would. As we all know, dwarves have dodge. <laughs> Not really. I'm having a bit of a laugh on that one. Now he wants to throw a couple more clean blocks. <laughs> Not a fat lot of good that does him either. Well, now the werewolf's in a horrible position. And to stand firm. Would you like to try that again, Sunshine? How about a skull? No. Finally gets somewhere this time. He stuns him, but you're really not in a good spot, are you, lad? The mangy mutt, here he comes. Jay, I wonder what the chainsaw's doing.
There you go. Well, he's used the apothecary on that one. That was quick. Unfortunately, I think Constable Ed was paying attention to that one. I'm sorry, but enough is enough. Get off the field. Okay. You see, this is what happens when the host team does pay Constable Ed as he arrives the respective proper attendance fee on top of his standard gratuity. And, well, he actually will make a call on that one. Well, you got to admit, that chainsaw did it his pay. Two injured dwarves burned the acorthicetti. Now it's all going to come down to the mangy mutts. Can the claws actually do anything useful today? Now, I'm asking, can the claws actually do anything useful today? Well, let's find out. You just made the list! And there he goes. And, well, the Dwarves are trying to assert themselves. They've had two of their players cleared off the pitch. This does make defense a little trickier, but with a fortunate ejection, that does thin the Necros out one key piece. However, I'd still say he got his money out of it. That's two. Now he just has to hope the rest of his team can, you know, perform. Just like he does. Every night, down at the brothel, just saying. Explains why the critical bill is so high for VG. I can do that. Well, so far so good. And here you go, charging potato. It's not a bad idea at this point. And you really need to rescue this werewolf. He's really in dire straits here. What? They're not a member of this team. Do you like to try this again? Aha! You missed me! Well, he does manage to drive another player off. But now we're seeing. Okay, dwarves, this is it. Now you've got to stop putting something back into the kitty here. And let's start with the mangy mutt. Uh, yeah, he's definitely determined he's going to get the rest of the team back into the thick of this and see if he can do something. So, it's not bad so far. Come on, Kamen, would you like to follow the play? There you go. You'll take me, Blunderbuss, when you pry it from my cool dead hands! Well, it's an easy KO. He'll take it for now. But this is the real thing. He'd like to actually get this under control. Push me, push you. Quick reroll right into a skull. Oh, God. What's that? Get your finger out of that bunghole. Well, suddenly, it looks like it's time for a quick score. Solid it into the runner. Down he goes. You'd almost be tempted to foul him, but you know what? Maybe, maybe not. Solid kick. Down he goes. Do the Necros want a burn a turn? No, he just wants to score that one right in. I can understand that one there. Oh, yes! Well, he did a pretty good job on that one there. And behold, it is in. All right, so let's take a look at what the damage was on that drive. Yes, you got your chainsaw ejected, but he did his job. Of course, now the Necros have got nothing left in the tank. As the Dwarves, well, he did the apothecary. It's an early pull, and of course, well, he's now back up to a full roster, but now anything that gets through those claws, well, that could be pretty brutal, couldn't it? All right, let's see what happens here. Quick little setup here. He is keeping in mind here, he did score it relatively quick. So he does give five turns. Even dwarves 
can score in five turns. It's not exactly a statement, though. It's more of a challenge. <laughs> You've got to give the poor buggers a wee bit of encouragement occasionally. He does have the two good, strong runners here, as you can see. And he has been picking up a couple of skills here. And he has quite a couple of gods. This is the rather impressive one. Strength up crease on the line dwarf. This one's also rather impressive too. Stand firm and the mighty blow. Oh, that's his job. Hurting things. Oh well, here we go. It's time to make life absolutely exciting for him. My nipples explode with the night. <laughs> the pro is the problem though. You set up so far back. If your werewolves were close up here and you had a proper setup, you'd be right into his rear end. Come on, you know it's true, you'd be stuck right up his rear. You'd be absolutely fantastic. Hey, phrasing! Alright, fine. Well, the claw finally comes through. It's a stun. Does he dodge it? Yes, he does. But this is the problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's as far as they get. They're so far back. And, well... Sloppy! So much for that idea. Yeah, dwarf drops the ball. And I hate to say it, the dwarves just got lucky. <laughs> now, Mercury's been stunned one more time. At least you have that cough looked at. And here comes the rest of the dwarves. They got a police this ball up. So much for this, uh, this quick score. It's a wee bit of pressure this time. Meanwhile, frontline escapades of push me, push you. Not exactly their favourite game. Oh dear. I think he's about to have a wee bit of a bad day. And that's how baby dwarves are made. Ah! Too much information. Does he have the ball? Yes, he does. Well, at least he's Port Royal renowned for handling his balls. The power of dwarves, one die blocks. They only ever fear them. So if those skulls stop showing up. See what I mean? It's all that sucking block to start. And then they wonder why they consider it just a tearing of team. Rrrg! Come on, Rrrg! Rrrg? Now, maybe the werewolves don't have enough Rrrg in them. All right. Well, it's not a bad situation for the Necros. Like I said, it's too late to change what the setup was. But you can certainly make them pay. And this might just work. Good solid punch and he's got the runner marked. And he decides instead to concentrate your fire on the front line rather than just running around. Alright, I would have suggested going around, but... It is keeping the front line... Pretty preoccupied. Alright, let's try this again, Sunshine. Now yeah, push me, push you. But it does sort of do the job. Not particularly well, but it does do the job. Oh god, now he fails the dodge. Come on! Gotta go! Me too! No, that did not work out well for the dwarves. Well, he might as well satisfy himself with a couple of one dice blocks. And he's going to help for something more exciting. Nymph decides not to throw that one. That is so stunning considering that, hey, look, he's got a niggler. All right, Necros, you've got all kinds of solutions here. Which one do you think is best? That's not it, lad. Dummy, yeah. Well, it's not his fault. It's a good play. He's just got no rerolls left. And the dwarves still can't get past this one. Hey. 
Harrod. Dwarves have now run into a bit of a problem. They're just not getting past here. It's either block or stand firm. Well, they're going to have to go force the issue. And by force the issue, it tends to involve lots and lots of fisting. I'm TNT. I'm Dino Mate! Well, that's horrible. He's dead again. Well, someone's raining on that purple, all right. Push me, push you. Ball Carrier's just firing a flurry of blocks. He's not getting anywhere. Block on block. Now he's noticed this one. Trying to make it. It's, this is going to be really tough. Oh, it's doable, all right. Definitely doable. Okay, Necro Team. Now uh, that's Stan Firm's earning his weight in gold. See, it's not happening. That was clever. <laughs> Didn't quite work the way he planned, but I got to admit, that's actually a pretty good play. Let the stand firm so he won dice, is it? Meanwhile, behind the scenes, look, more one dice. Fun for the whole family. Ah, it's one dice all over the place. The dwarves are getting pretty frustrated here. There you go. Solid it, finally. Now that was cheeky. Whole way through, someone's paid attention, realizing which dwarves do not have tackle. Well, the slugging continues. And there goes another one. Hey, look at Freeze, this lad up. What he'll want to do today, so I'm trying. <laughs> Meet me, Fist. It's a dear friend of mine. Block on block. You, you, you realize you're going to have to go, lad. You can't stay here all day. Okay, you've got a route now. Run, yes, stupid fool, run. Oh, he got that far. And he does not decide to do the go for it now. Because, well, I guess he smelt the skull in there somewhere. Oh, look at the chain of ones. Someone's been paying attention to the article about rays, haven't they? Look at all those ones. That would have failed. Sometimes you trust your gut instincts, don't you, lads? Okay, Necro Team. Can you stop this score? It's possible. It's a... Likely, but it's possible. And he makes the dodge away. Here he comes. And he got him. Hey, that's pretty good. Lucky Thick Skull. I remember way back in the day, Thick Skull was a racial trait. Nowadays, yeah, dwarves just get all this Thick Skull because not like they need any extra help, do they? Yeah, seriously. Not like they need it. He almost swear on the designers was bad at playing the dwarves. Funny that. Speaking of funny, <laughs> yeah, look! I oh, knocked this ladder down again. Oh, look! He sucks fist. Well, to a dwarf, there's only a couple of things more satisfying than beating your opponent into the ground. And that's stomping your opponent into the ground. And chewing him into the ground. And fouling him into the ground. Basically just punching your opponent into the ground. Seems to sum it up quite nicely. Show us a target. Well, now he's got the freebie on the reroll. He decides, yeah, he's going to burn that out because he's got nothing better to do with it. Don't blame him at this point here. Yeah. Sound advice. He'd like to see another 
Solid track. Oh god, there we go. Guns don't kill people. I do! <laughs> well, unfortunately for him, well, let's face it there, Freddy. He wants to live forever, and he's damn well bloody well going to. And that's half the first half. 1-0 for the Rockers of Legends pass, but boy, was that a fight on the front line. This game has turned itself right around here. Ah, it looks like yeah, the Dwarves are going to be back on the offense one more time. This time, they've got eight turns to try and score this bloody thing. Think they can do it. Well, I don't know. We're going to have to, you know, check about that sometime later here. As for the Dwarves... You know, they'd like to see some casualties on the board here. Like, it, it, like, it's not wrong. They've gotten, let's see, one ejection, two casualties, one regenerated. Okay. They wouldn't mind a few more, though. I'm your shooter. You're also thick in the skull, Thicky Holden. Well, I hate to say that, but kind of messes the plan up on the front line. Of course, the dwarves will go with their other other plan, and of course, the other other plan involves lots and lots of well, punching. Hello. That they got him, and he's out. And once again, he regenerates. But let's face it: if you're a dwarf, werewolves off the field. That's all you bloody care about, and you'll take the skill point for it. Meanwhile, front line, solid punch. Now, if you're the Dwarves here, you're here thinking, you know what, you can actually win this game, but life just got a lot tougher. You've actually got to get this ball and get it forward within about three, four turns. you got to score it quick. That's a good start. You've actually got the bloody thing. Would you make up your mind, lad? Look. How do you decide not to throw the one die punch, surprisingly enough? Well, that's his choice. Now rock Necros. Well, the Dwarves have left this incredibly open, yeah, and he sees it. So he'd like to do a wee bit of ripping faces off. I broke your stupid crap, moron! And uh, yeah, Uther is on his way one more time. We call that showing you the dark side. Solid punch, down he goes. Uh, that's what you wanted. Yeah! And that's definitely got help. Suddenly the dwarves are oh, actually down a troll slayer and another player all in the same bundle. Feeling pretty optimistic for the necros, aren't we, at this point here? Well, don't worry, dwarves have tricks up the sleeve. Good, solid hit. Oh god, he finally got through, didn't he? And that's how baby dwarfs are made. Ah! This battle is over. Ah, failed that regeneration. Ah, it's been 50-50 so far. I don't think the dwarves are complaining quite as much, and that has been a real pain in the ass, this one particular player. Now he's really seriously looking at the quick score. And he's just got a few other you know, minor you know, shambling problems to deal with. And that should be easy enough. Decides now. Not too much risk. One die. You got a push. He'll take it. Decides not to follow up. Yeah, all right. It's not going to give him a free block. Once again, the power of dwarves trusting the one die block. Decides not to follow up. Oh, he'll take that, though. And down he goes, any more? Now that's it for today. Okay, Necros, yeah, believe it or not, only turn Ted. What can you do to contain this? Well, you have to do something all right. Ah, he's got a plan. Didn't say it was a good plan, but he does indeed have a plan. And he decides to go straight through it's a push. You know what? You'll take that. 
Uh, it's not wrong. Meanwhile, where's it get old Yiffy going? Mm. I'll go with that. I'll allow it. And he's having a better result on that one, wasn't he? I'm also curious what you didn't follow up. Well, it looks like it's a full court press. All right, dwarves. Let's see how good your god is today. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> meet me fist. Yeah, dwarves are definitely giving you a demonstrate of the gun show. Hmm, interesting. He will indeed take that, gets the push away. And the dwarves, it looks like he's got things relatively contained. Right till he rolls a 1 in 36. Well, there goes the reroll. Does he risk it? Well, you'll take the push first, then it's not so much of a risk. How potato do you want to go? Well, some people will say that's what it comes down to. Does he want to win this game or just toy this game? And, well, as you answer, he wants to bloody win this game. Good lad. Absolutely good to lad. There you go. We'll do it in a jiffy. That's the plan. And the Necros, well, now they're starting to have fun. One dice does not work. They take the runner out, though, at least. You might have a problem. Block on, block on, block in. Finally, that's it. Nothing else in the tank. And I guess yeah, someone's about to run away. He's going to run away long time. Now, uh, the dwarves never want to pass up a free meal. Or pounding. A free beer. Yeah, I, I don't think they passed anything up that was free. Free beatings? Don't mind if I do, sunshine. Aye, sir. Now, well, fortunately, he does regenerate that one. Yeah, well, so much for the complaining the dwarves had later on, but nothing else was going right. Yeah, lots and lots of that being poured on that wound right now. Another salt and punch, down he goes. And the dwarves, well, quite frankly, calmly swinging away. Anyone else want to hit something? How about you? Two more dice. Of course you do. Meet me first. Even got a KO. Show us a target. And... Wait, wait, wait. Hello, Sunshine. If you're aiming to win the game... Sunshine, end zone. It's that way. Okay. I guess he's decided it and things. Kick that, you son! Alright, that's your choice there, lad. Well, that means the Necro team now have some interesting choices. How do they want to play this? He could just stay lying down and say, fine, have the touchdown. And again, he might get a bit banged up. Oh, yep, there we go. Rerolls right into a useless <laughs> block. There goes Yiffy. And Yiffy does manage to mark him up. He's not going to get many fall, but he does manage to mark him up. And, of course, there you go. It's them! Bust them! There we go, more solid hits. Shoot the kill! Oh, don't worry. That's what that's what he's got a wife for, apparently. Too soon? <laughs> Never soon enough for that lad. Poor lad. Well, he just happened to be cleaning that shotgun from that end at the time, which was conveniently loaded. Yeah, I'm never going to believe that explanation. Anyway, back to the actual game here. Dwarves just pouring it on. Ah, they're looking for casualties now at this point here. That's all they're looking for. 
All right, would you like to go score today, Twinkle Toes? There you go. Really? You're now going to stoop this bloody low. They're dead! Well, it's a stun. Uh, unfortunately, Constable Ed right now was too busy off having a wee bit of a cup of tea. He didn't realize the dwarves were going to stoop that low at this point. Hey, you! Catch! Well, that didn't work, did it? It's not a bad play. I can see why in desperation he's trying it. And he even uses the last reroll. Well, there you go, turn 14. Another solid hit down, but now the dwarves are starting to get a little bit frustrated because they're running out of targets. Not that this is going to stop this little wanker. Now another solid hit. Does he get this one? It's them! Bust them! No, we won't. did, you rotting bastards! We've been watching you all along! Oh, another sword kick. There you go, KO! Move your arse! And uh, meanwhile, it's going to be coming up no surprise here. Now he's looking at the playoffs, as we can see. <laughs> Burning, looting, bombing, shooting! Oh, sorry, Ed considers it, you know what, it's only a KO, I'm not calling that because, well, frankly, it saves your player, doesn't it? Oh god, well that's not going to work, is it? Uh-oh. That's not too good, is it? Oh boy, oh dear. We must overreact immediately! Well, fortunately, he sells the uh, her injury so well, in fact, he gets carried off the field nice and safe, he'll be back for the next game. Clever play. Unfortunately, the dwarves once again are resorting to low down dirty tactics. You think they were referees? And they're going to go back to the fouling one more time. Because they're such an honourable and noble race, aren't they? Alright, here we go again. Today's going to suck! Yeah, once again, he sells the fake injury pretty nicely there. It's a KO. And it does rescue the player, gets him off the pitch. There we go, turn 16. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Yeah, uh, you can see there's the dwarf and coach in there. He's had a good time indeed. Oh, that was grim, wasn't it, lads? All right, well, guess what? Uh, back, he's got one turn. Probably not enough for a riot. Wouldn't be the show, would it? Well, I hate to say it here for you, the Rockers. You count your blessings. That could have been a lot worse. As for Dwarves, well, they're not too happy about this. But, as he would say, it's only a badly hurt. How about this other poor lad? It's badly hurt. They don't bloody care. 1-1 one, one tie, though. They could have played it for the win. Chose to do it that way. Well, that's his choice. Then again, looking at the standings, what's going on in the core division here. You know, neither of these teams are really worried at this point. Not particularly, not really. They're doing healthy. Might be game four, what really decides things for both these teams. So let's get it started in here. All right, here we go. Really? You totally missed the dwarves. You completely missed them! You fools! And there was much. And there was much rejoicing. Now yeah, you can see there, well, the Rockers of Legends pass. Hey, look, you star player! He got the MVP! And there was much rejoicing. And there you go, out of the court cool division, a 1-1 one, one tie, quite the roller coaster this one, hey? So, well done, well played by both of you there, a couple of opportunities missed by both teams, but you know what? They're into a comfort level at this point, it's not do or die just yet, and they're gonna keep muscling on, good luck in your next round, nuffle, bless your dice.